Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of measurement, specifically how we can solve problems that involve measurement and converting units, and we'll do it in five minutes or less. So we have a sample problem here. Two girls, Marissa and Victoria, were each measuring the length of their hair. So we have kind of a mixed measurement here. Marissa's hair was one foot five inches long, and then Victoria's hair was one foot nine inches long. And then how long was their hair all together? So all together is going to be, that's going to give us an idea that we can add. And so one way to do this, there's many ways to do this. One way to do this would be to uh, simply just line them up vertically, but you kind of have to make sure that you keep your like units together. So we're going to kind of add it in two chunks like this. So five inches and nine inches is going to be 14 inches. And then one foot and one foot is two feet. So we've got two feet, 14 inches. The problem is, is that's not going to be one of the answer selections if this was a test question. And here is the issue right here. We know that 12 inches equals a foot. So you're really not going to see many measurements that include a number of inches beyond 12 they're gonna convert the excess into a foot. So we're gonna to need to do the same thing here. So we've got our 14 inches. So let's take this 14 inches. And what happens if we take 12 of those inches away? That's gonna leave us with two inches and we're not taking it away. We're simply renaming it as one foot. So 14 inches really equals one foot. And then if I take this two inches right here, one foot two inches is the same as 14 inches. So I'm gonna do the same thing here. I'm going to uh, rewrite this as one foot and two inches. This also would not be a problem, but we're really close. You notice I've got feet listed twice, two feet, one feet. So let's just combine them. It's not 21, it's two plus one. So that's going to be three feet two inches. So that's going to be answer to this problem. Let's look at another one. So with our new problem, we have Jeremy, he's got four yards of duct tape. So you know what, I'm going to draw these four yards of duct tape. That's my total. I'm just going to go ahead and draw that right up here in a strip diagram. So each of these are going to be a yard. He used one yard, two feet for one of his projects. And then he used another two feet for fixing a container in his room, how much duct tape does he have left? Well, let's see, if this is one yard, so he's gonna use one yard, and it says two feet. So what we need to know is that one yard equals three feet. So I can draw some little lines in here to kind of separate this in three feet. So he used one yard, two feet. So that can, that's gonna leave me one foot left in that second yard. And then he used another two feet for fixing a container in his room. So if I wanted to use a foot there, and then a foot there, it looks like I've got uh, one yard, and then one two feet left. But how can we know for sure? While doing some quick calculations like we did on the previous problem, I wanted to add up how much we're actually taking away. So I've got one yard, two feet, plus two feet makes one yard, four feet. But just like last time, we need to convert these four feet into one yard and one foot. So if I bring all of this together, I'm going to have this one yard plus this one yard and the one foot left over. So he used two yards and one foot, which is what shows up here. We've got two whole yards and then one little foot up there that's used. How much did he start with? He started with four yards though. So we're gonna subtract four yards minus two yards and one foot, that's how much he used. But that's gonna to be tough because we don't have anything to subtract the feet from. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna rename this. Four yards is the same as three yards and three feet. I'm just gonna take one of those yards, put it into three feet, and guess what I'm gonna get? I'm gonna get one yard, two feet which is exactly what we have up here in our answer. One yard and two feet.